Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about some new exclusive things that are going to be coming out on the Flash Season 5 DVD. So we're going to be breaking it all down in today's video. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. And subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so first things first, The Flash Season 5 is coming out on DVD next Tuesday, so in just a few days time actually, in America, however, that is on August 27th, the Tuesday, so that's coming out then, you can pre-order it right now, you can get all of that, there's going to be a load of exclusives, including all of the Flash episodes, and obviously Crisis, it's going to have all three episodes if you buy the Blu-ray edition, so not on the DVD, I think you would just get the normal Flash crossover episode as a part of that. And you'll have behind the scenes looks, you'll have gag reels, which we'll talk about in a minute, and you'll have deleted scenes. The deleted scenes are of great interest, and so are the gag reels. They're really priceless new content for us, you know, over this drought period that is August in the summer for, you know, the Flash or DCTV related news. So it's very exciting. I'm looking forward to it. However, it does not release in the UK, and I believe in Europe, all around until September 23rd. So that kind of sucks that we have to wait a little while longer. I think, you know, the previous years we've practically got it on the same day, because I don't remember it being such a big gap away from the American release. But the Supergirl release, actually, that's a fun fact, the Season 4 release on the DVD and Blu-ray is only a few days apart from the US and UK release. The UK release of Supergirl's DVD is actually on the 23rd as well, and I believe it's like the 17th or 16th, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, that it's going to be released in America on DVD and Blu-ray. So, that's not too bad, but this one, we've got a long way over here. I guess you could import it, but, you know, you're going to have to pay a lot more money if you're going to do that. So, along with this, along with all these announcements that we're going to be talking about in this video and all the, you know, new stuff that we need to break down, I'm going to be doing another giveaway on the channel right now. This is going to be for the Elseworlds crossover DVD. So, this one actually releases in the UK on the same day that The Flash drops. So, I'm going to be giving that away because I can get my hands on that. I'll send that over from Amazon to one of you guys. Also, right now, I'm figuring out who are the giveaway winners. I'm going to be doing a random search, and it's going to select, like, maybe, I think I have five packages, like, lots of packages, and it has, you know, lots of different things that I was able to get from Comic-Con. So that's super exciting, and you know who you are if you're entered into that giveaway that is completely separate from today's video, but to get the Elseworlds DVD from the giveaway today. All you need to do is leave a like, subscribe, comment, and share this video around, whether it's online, on Twitter, Reddit, Instagram, Facebook, anything like that, that all counts. So that's all you gotta do and you can win that. So let's go ahead and talk about the first topic. So we have this deleted scene. This comes from Entertainment Weekly. It's an exclusive. It will be on the DVD when it comes out just next week for you American people. So. You get to see The Flash racing Superman. However, this is from Elseworlds, so therefore The Flash is actually Oliver Queen. And so this is the lesson of sorts, and you get to see the VFX is very, very temporary. You can see that via the screenshots on the screen right now. I will leave the link in the description below so you can actually go watch the scene. I'm not going to put it in this video, but you can go check that out. And essentially what is going on is they're racing and it's Oliver as the Flash in Elseworlds and you have Clark Kent as obviously himself. They race around the Kent farm grounds and essentially what Clark is doing, he's teaching Oliver a lesson about using his abilities and how to channel them. Because as you know, in the Elseworlds crossover, Oliver got his abilities just completely out of nowhere obviously he had no experience or anything like that so he had to sort of get used to it so i reckon this would have been in you know fairly early on into the crossover like sometime after all our heroes including kara and everyone just you know turned up at the kent farm i don't really remember what episode that was but it was fairly early on in the crossover and so he tells the story about catching with pa so his dad and he threw one over his head, and so that is his paw throwing 
a ball over his head and he took off like a speeding bullet, a nice Superman reference right there. And his moral of the story and the main thing to focus on is he's trying to teach him a lesson about don't just run fast, run towards us or run towards something. And that is what his parents told him and that is what Oliver has to do. He must teach him to focus upon what matters and not just use his powers blindly. And that's sort of similar to the lesson that Oliver actually gave to Barry way back when in like season one of The Flash, when he first started using his powers and Oliver actually surfaced one of his crime scenes and found out that he was obviously very sloppy and so he taught him that lesson with the bow and arrow and so that was actually repeated and paralleled in the crossover but with Barry in the opposite position shooting Oliver so this would have been around that same point in the episode so this will be on the DVD so prepare for that and they prepare to run again so obviously there was the idea that they would continue training together but that never actually made the crossover but you'll be able to see it on the DVD just next week if you're American okay so let's move on to the next thing we're going to talk about the gag reel so the funny moments essentially the bloopers for the flash season 5 this is part of my favorite thing about the DVDs. They are great fun. I love them. Year to year, I make a video talking about the gag reels because the gag reels are absolutely hilarious. So I'll leave the link in the description below to TV Lines exclusive and there will be more gag reel footage on the actual DVD and Blu-ray once you get it because normally they're about, you know, two to three minutes long and they have a bunch of different stuff. And so this is the segment of the gag reel and this segment is all about dancing and so you get to see the behind the scenes look at the Flash cast and them sort of goofing around like very much so like the Supergirl cast because if you've seen the gag reels and the behind the scenes stuff they are always freaking dancing on Supergirl and that is because you know Melissa is from that world she's from musical theatre and same thing with Grant so it was really nice to see that in this gag reel like they are dancing a hell of a lot and it's a whole load of fun can't wait to see this whole thing go down and actually watch it it very much so reminds me of Supergirl's cast and so that's exciting so you get to see in the gag reel Grant's smooth moves he's sort of doing this very smooth dance at various points you know very early on and I just really like the way that he sort of controls the set creates this environment where people sort of feel like they could goof around and you know do stuff between takes if they fail. Also we have Candace dancing, we have Carlos and the whole cast joining in at various points. You can see it's various points throughout the season during this gag reel because you can sort of notice a few of the certain elements of the backgrounds or wherever they were or the specific shot setups. But the best thing about this was definitely seeing Jessica Parker Kennedy sort of integrating with the cast and her sort of groovy sways, I would call it. Like, I know it's nothing really to do with the shows, but I just find it a lot of fun looking at these and sort of talking about it because they are great fun. So check them out. That will be on TV line. And the deleted scene is actually from Entertainment Weekly. And so additionally, on top of this, what has been said that is going to be in the Season 5 DVD and Blu-ray release is that... There's going to be more deleted scenes. Last year, I believe there was maybe about five to ten deleted scenes. Like, some are really short, some are longer, as you saw with the Crisis one earlier in this video. That was a long deleted scene, and it had some VFX of mock-ups. However, there will be some smaller deleted scenes, so be on the lookout for that. Obviously, the gag reel that we talked about, there's three featurettes, so that's perhaps the showrunners talking, maybe doing an interview, and perhaps maybe some of the stars like Grant or Candice or Danielle, maybe they did a few interviews and that's going to be part of the featurettes talking about last season. The titles of these featurettes are The Evolution of Killer Frost, Inside the Crossover, Elseworlds, and finally Villains, Modes of Persuasion. And finally on top of that we have DC TV's Best of Comic Con panel, so like different little segments from the 2018 Comic Con panel that they did last year talking about the upcoming season which at that point was season 5 so when they get round to next summer once we are fully done with this new season we'll have the 
Comic Con best of from this year and I was there and it was so cool. I absolutely loved it. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, subscribe, turn on notifications, don't forget to enter the giveaway and also be on the lookout for more videos and share this video around so we can get to 100,000 subscribers. So I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.